Hello everyone. So today I'll be sharing with you these two called OpenScape. So previously I shared with you how you can use OpenScape to check for any misconfiguration in your operating system. So today I'm going to share with you another security policy that you can use to check for any vulnerabilities in your operating system. If you haven't checked out my previous video, highly recommend you to check it out. But if not, I will just give you another overview of what this uh, security auditing tool is. So OpenScape is actually a security audit tool to assist administrators and auditors on assessing, measuring, and enforcing security baselines. So it provides a wide variety of hardening guides and configuration baselines developed by the open source community. So most importantly, the standard itself is maintained by NIST. So it has this uh, security framework to help you mitigate any security risk. So today we'll be looking at open vulnerability assessment language. Basically, it's a community developed language for determining vulnerability and configuration issues on the computer system. This itself has a library of all the CVs and you actually check the system to see if there's any vulnerabilities that exist in the database. Essentially, that's the general idea. So first, what you need to do is to go to AWS to create a Ubuntu server first. So you click on launch instance. So you can choose uh, what operating system you want to launch. So in this case, you choose a Ubuntu server over here. Click on select. So choose a free tier one, then configure instance details. You just leave everything by default. Then we add storage, add text. Then next we configure security group. So we choose, uh, I mean, we can just leave everything by default and launch it. So we can use an existing key pair. So I have already have an existing key pair. But if you want, you can also choose to uh, create a new key pair. You can even uh, proceed without a key pair, but I don't really encourage you to do that because it's better to have a key pair to make sure that you are the only one who can access to this instance. So acknowledge, then launch instance. So the instance is now running. So we'll go back to see your instances. So you can see my instance is running now, but you haven't passed the status check yet. So just wait for one more. So at this point, you can also do a connect. So you can see here, we want to connect via SSH. So what we want to do now is to launch a party client. Then we copy this whole thing. This is the host name with the username. Then we just put Ubuntu. Then we go to SSH off. Then we choose the private key. Then we go back to the session, we save, then we open, then we click accept. Basically is to ask you whether you trust this host or not, okay? And trust the uh, authentication key. So click accept. Okay, next. So once you are able to reach your means, you are able to connect to the Ubuntu server successfully. Next, what you need to do is to install the OpenScape. So how you can install it? First, you need to update your Ubuntu server first. So you click on update, to enter. Make sure the Ubuntu server is updated with all the recent uh, packages. Once it's done, then you install the OpenScape library package. Once you're done, what you need to do next is to download the OVAL data. Okay, so it's in this uh, compressed XML. So you need to get this from the OVAL. Then you need to uncompress it. Next. You need to use OpenScape to evaluate the oval and generate HTML report. So over here, this is the one that this is the command that you need to run. Before you run. So once it's done, you will have this uh, message. It's called evaluation done. Then next we need to use another tool called WinScape. So basically, WinScape is uh, it allows you to 
launch the secure file transfer protocol, which also known as SFTP, to go in and transfer out from the instance to your local machine. So what you need to do next is go here, copy, host name, paste, then username to Ubuntu. See Ubuntu? Yes. Then you go to advanced. Okay, go to authentication. Go in the private key file. Test. Then go back to the environment. Okay, okay. Then save this. Ubuntu server. Then click OK. Next, you just click on login. Click on yes. Basically, you see that whether you trust the host key or not. So you say yes. So over here, you can see this uh, report.html. So that is the HTML report that the uh, OpenScript has generated. So what you need to do is copy and paste it to your local machine. Okay. So next, you go to your download folder where you have downloaded the report HTML file. You go to open with Google Chrome. And this is the report that is generated. So as you can see here, there are a few things that, uh, that we can take a look. So basically this is the part whereby it has failed. So it has failed some patches. So we can also say this as the vulnerabilities that it has discovered. So this green box is to show what the uh, patches he has passed, okay? So actually you really need to take a look at this tool. Okay, if there's an error, all these are, uh, you also be shown here. So as you can see here, now we have found four vulnerabilities. So we can actually take a look at what exactly each vulnerability is. So you can see here, it has some Linux kernel vulnerabilities. So these are the, some of the details. So you can actually take a look to see what other things you can do to fix it, to patch it up before you go any further to install any software on this uh, server itself, okay? So this is just a simple demonstration of how you can do an audit using um, the OVAL definitions to check for any vulnerabilities in your server. So if you like this video, I'll appreciate you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And now we'll see you in the next video.